Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and what the hell was all that? Well, that was my attempt at making a Bramos anti-ship missile. I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing that right, but yeah, it's a Bramos missile. I've seen a bunch of them on Reddit recently, um, just kind of like the launch sequence, and I love how they look, because they like fly up and they tip sideways and they tip up and then they fly and hit something. But I thought it would be really cool if I could make one that would actually hit ships. Now, what you just saw obviously wasn't my first attempt. In fact, my first few attempts are what you're seeing here, where I tried to fly the missile manually, which is kind of difficult, and I'm not a very good pilot anyway, so they all kind of went like this, where I would try and launch, kind of fail, and then crash into the ocean. You'll notice they're actually flung up into the air initially by an upside down rocket motor, um, which it just I thought was kind of cool, because then they don't need like a takeoff rocket, they're just thrown into the air and everything. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, I'm no pilot, so I decided I'm gonna have to write some code to control these missiles. So I got the Kerbal RPC mod, which allows you to write in, well, most uh, kind of big languages, Python, C++, Lua, Java, I think. Um, to actually control vessels in KSP. So I started writing. This is the Mark 1 guidance system, which basically just aligns the heading of the missile with the position of the target. And you can see it flies clean over it. It has no attack run right now, but uh, yeah, it flies right over it. And right now it's trying to turn around because it's trying to align itself again. And it basically just says, um, if you're pointing left of the target, turn right and vice versa. This is written in Python, by the way. Um, uh, the final code will be up on a, probably just a media fire or something with all of these craft. Uh, the missile itself is fairly simple, a couple of Cephatrons for turning over, a big solid rocket motor, and then like a reaction wheel and some fins. Um, so we're now on to Mark II, which obviously launches the missile in the same way, tips it over, gets it flying. And this does the same thing, it aligns with the uh, with the craft, and then it, once it's within 2400 meters, it tips down, points at the craft, and tries to hit it. So this is my first actual attempt at making a missile that hits something. This wasn't really expected to work, because it was just some pretty rudimentary code, which didn't even align velocity vectors. But it actually gets surprisingly close a bunch of the, bunch of the time when uh, the vessel's pretty close, because... I mean, it's basically flying at the target, it's just not doing a great job of it. And you can see I've actually built myself the first little ship there, and uh, it looks rather janky, made out of wing surfaces and everything, with a few uh, guns on it. Um, I do have BD Armory installed as well, the other mod which allows you to add guns and things, and is what provided the gunfire and the warhead in the opening shot, as you'll see more later. Uh, this was just another attempt at Mark II, um, which actually gets, again, pretty close, and this was just a slight upgrade to Mark II, where it was a little more consistent and everything, um, but this still didn't manage to hit, although got a little consistent by the end. You can see we're getting fairly close fairly frequently, um, and here's just another shot of another one just missing the ship, <laughs> just flying over the uh, bow, or the, yeah, the bow and everything else. Uh, this is Mark III, which uh, was an improvement in that this actually maintains roll control. You'll see it'll it'll do a little roll right there, and that is really important because I'm just the code's just telling the rocket to pitch and to yaw, so if it's rolling the wrong way, it's going to have its controls kind of off by 90 degrees, which isn't great if you're trying to hit, you know, ships and things. It's not a great guidance system if rolling destroys your targeting system. This wasn't much more accurate, really, but it was a lot more consistent. You'll see that it keeps hitting the same spot, so this was pretty good. Good, but it kept pulling off to the left, and that was actually because I sort of misunderstood uh, target uh, reference frames. And uh, it's hard to explain, but this is almost that was almost like I was using where the ship was looking as my point of reference, which actually meant if you re rotated the ship, it would fly in a totally different direction. It just happened it was pointing right at me in those tests. Anyway, the solution to this in Mark IV, as we're seeing now, was to take a reference frame of the ground, or I guess the water that the boat is sitting on, um, and to align my velocity vector with uh, that position so that we get pretty close. And you can see that very almost hit. So yeah, by now we're actually shooting at the right, <laughs> right place, we're keeping our roll all aligned. And uh, by Mark V, we had a pretty good little missile. Well, I'm going through this pretty quickly, it's hard to explain everything, but I'm just giving you like a TLDR of what I did, because I thought it would be fun to explain how I built this like targeting missile, which I think is pretty cool, really. I really thought I had a lot of fun building this. Um, anyway, yeah, so you can see it does the same kind of attack run, but it's aligning its velocity vector now, not just its heading. And this means that with all of that, we actually hit the ship and do some damage. 
So, <laughs> I thought that was so awesome to watch. Now this is Mark VI, this is basically, well it has a warhead upgrade and a launcher upgrade, but the code itself basically just adds a cruise setting basically. So while it's outside of uh, attack range of the target, it picks an altitude and cruises there, so that no matter the distance, as long as it's within fuel range, its attack run will always be about the same, which just make, means it is much more reliable at hitting the target because it can attack from any altitude but it kind of has to be low enough that it can get down in time and high enough that it just has space to work. So this tries to cruise at about 370 meter, 70 meters above sea level and you can see it goes in for an attack run again and strikes right into the ship and then glitches and launches off. The ship destroyed the missile fine other than its warhead. I'm not really sure what happened there but when you collide with things really fast in Kerbal Space Program it really confuses the game. Anyway, uh, with the slight improvement to the launcher, um, we have something a little more like what you saw at the start of this episode. Going out of a tube with a cool little uh, liquid fuel engine so that the plume's a little less big. It also throws it higher into the air so that it has more time, because if you saw in the last one it almost hit the ground, and it did a few times. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is basically the final rendition of the missile, and uh, yeah, it pretty much works. Uh, this was quite a lot of fun, just writing some code. I spent quite a few evenings on this, uh, just improving it and tweaking it, because I love it when I find something where I can write code in Kerbal Space Program. KOS does it quite well, but I really do prefer Kerbal RPC. You can see the ship's actually firing at us now, but it's actually really ineffective. That goalkeeper cannon is not great for air defense. Something interesting I discovered while trying to get that first shot of uh, launching from the shitty looking truck was if you mount the missile sideways, it launches sideways. However, the uh, missile's pretty maneuverable and the code's good, because obviously I'm just like the best programmer now. <laughs> but the, yeah, the code does what it's supposed to do. Um, and the missile's surprisingly maneuverable and actually manages to take the whole turn and keep aligned and at a reasonable altitude, if not perfect. And uh, flies in and almost hits the target, actually. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't. But it gets pretty close. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for this video. Fairly short one, but I, I just saw a bunch of these Bramos missiles on Reddit and was like, I could do better than that. I could make it hit stuff. Um, and dodge gunfire, which actually isn't very hard, because the uh, guns are really inaccurate. Like that missile shot, but it did have to turn like 90 degrees. Anyway, I'll leave you with the uh, the opening shot of the awesome missile firing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I, re I th really think it's a great way to... It's just so much fun to code in Kerbal Space Program. It's just great. It's actually got me wondering if there's kind of room for a, for a series... Uh, kind of like a, a learn-to-code series, but where you applied the things you learned to Kerbal Space Program. I was thinking it might be kind of a fun thing to do. So, like, I, I guess I could teach Python, because that's quite a fun language to learn. Um, and yeah, I do like, I just do like the basics of Python, and then how you could apply that to flying rockets, because I think that would just make it so much more fun. And it might, I mean, Kerbal Space Program is so great for learning, like, physics. It's probably pretty good for learning computing, so, um... Yeah, if you think that's a good idea, leave it in the comments. I kind of, I'm not sure, really, if that would be good, because, uh... I feel like maybe it might be a little convoluted because Kerbal Space Program might kind of intimidate people because he was like, oh, I can't fly a rocket. But you, it's not that difficult, really. Um, so yeah, I think that could be really cool. Just like learn the basics of Python, apply it to flying rockets and Kerbal Space Program. So yeah, like I said, leave, leave a comment in the comments if you think that's a good idea or if you think it's a terrible idea. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just, yeah, this was really fun. Um, I know it's just a bit of a weird video of lots of Bramos missiles launching, but who doesn't love missiles? Ships, I guess, probably. Um, but yeah, I, well, I just love a run code. I mean, it's, it's my job, but it's also fun to come home and write, you know, fun missile things. But anyway, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, leave a comment if you think the KSP Learn to Code tutorial will be fun. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, this has been Caspi with Tape. I will see you next time.